What's going on? What do you want from me? Oh, I just want your opinion on a certain subject. Five-letter word for nerd. Hey, Johnson. Burns needs you in his office for your next assignment. Oh, thanks. Oh, and good on you for getting Age of the Year. Oh, thanks, Sam. And good on you for your last mission. Yeah. You meathead. You wanted to see me, Director? Yes, Johnson, come in. I have your newest assignment. What's the situation? A man named Adrian Taylor. Former MIT student who had too much fun hacking into faculty computers. Wound up getting himself thrown out. Two months ago, the Pentagon reported a breach in their system. The hacker gained the access to nuclear launch codes. They can't kick him out of the system or change the codes. And on top of all that, he's done the same in Britain, France, and Russia. Arntel says he plans to have the four nations fire on themselves to make the citizens turn on their governments. And he plans to do so tomorrow. Why are you giving me this assignment now, if you've known about it for two months? Why wait on something this big? It's because you're not the first person I've put on this mission. You're the fourth. Dooley, Ramsey, and Jones. I signed them all before you and they're all KIA. I underestimated Taylor. Not only has he recruited more henchmen to fight for his noble cause than I inspected, but when we lost Jones, we learned that he has something of a number two. A lunatic named Jason Greel. He wants nothing more than death and destruction for all, and because of this, he views Adrian as a god. And to make matters worse, he's every bit as skilled as you are. So, where's this guy's base of operations? Remote island? Underground network? I'm the country warehouse. Actually, it's a suburban home. It took us longer to find than you'd expect. How long? Not important. Yes, it is. The important thing is, is being as prepared for this as you can possibly be. First thing you should know is the amount of men Adrian has at his disposal. He has a decent amount of men at his home to protect him and his tools. He also has men in the city keeping an eye on people that they don't want near Taylor, i.e. you. Based off what we've gathered, on top of Jason Greel, he has a total of 157 henchmen at his disposal. And while they're not the most competent men, they are armed, and their numbers still do pose a threat. Luckily, they're pretty easy to spot. Taylor's given them Star Wars masks. Apparently, he's a huge nut for the franchise. Well, they all have one of four masks. A Jar Jar Binks mask, a Darth Vader mask, a Kylo Ren mask, and a Sabine Ren mask. Who? 
You know, Sabine from Rebels. You know what? It's not important. It's important to me. No, it's not. Y yeah, it pretty much is. Interrupt me one more time when you're sharing an office with Simmons. I need to know who this person is since it's one of the masks, don't you think? I'm right. Whatever, just go on. The most, the thing that's most important is that you need to know your approach. You will be dropped at the entrance to a nature trail, five miles away from the target's house. After traveling 300 feet through the woods, you will then venture off the trail. Into the woods, until you find a creek. Travel upstream and you will find yourself behind the target's house. Make your way into the target's house undetected. And disable the missile launch. By attaching an EMP device. Don't you mean EMP? No, EMP. <laughs> no, it, it's, it's, it's an EMP. How badly do you want to share this office with Simmons? Okay, look. EMP spells the word EMP. I'm just trying to be clear about what I'm using the field, alright? Two, zero, me. By attaching it to Adrian's main computer. Then take out both Taylor and Greel and return to base. Now head over on to Smith for your gear. Okay, I'll go get my amp. All right, Sam, now let's look at what I have for you. All right, Sam, and first up we have your AISB standard issue pistol. Always a classic. <laughs> and up next we have your minigun. I'm getting miniguns, thank- Really? Not again. Is something wrong, Sam? Uh, no, just continue. Alright, Sam, and up next we have your melee weapon. I was having trouble with this thing the first time. There we go. So, my melee weapon is a toy lightsaber. Not anything useful, like a bad baton. A plastic toy. Really? Well, yeah, Barnes did tell you that the dude was a big Star Wars fan, right? Yeah, yeah, I guess you're right. So he's bound to have a lightsaber too. It would look too weird if you were using anything else. Yeah, I could see that. And up next we have your imp. Thank you. If you have this touch any electronic device, it will immediately shut down. Alright, thanks Sam. So, now that you're all geared up for this, who do you want as your partner? No one. Plus, I really should get started with ASAP. Negative. Go home and get some rest. You'll be picked up at 0500 hours and be ready. Because what you, who you're about to face is absolutely diabolical. Mr. Socks, happy fun time! Mr. Socks, happy fun time! We learn lots of lessons and have lots of fun! Let's go! No. I decided that I would start the day off with something relaxing. Today is the big day, after all. Speaking of which, Mobilize our troops. They need to be on the highest of alerts. Nothing will stand in my way. The AISB has tried to thwart my plans before. They will undoubtedly do so again today. Yes, my lord. Firefighters have been called in to deal with the 
which requires the aid of these brave men and their ladder. And a story about a man who got arrested for public indecency after singing in the town square. Wait, how, how would that get him arrested? Have you seen the footage? No. Then save your ears and don't. And after that one war ending in that one place, I think it's very much safe to assume that world peace is just around the corner. You know, as long as somebody doesn't do something super evil to mess it up. Well, yeah, but what are the chances of that? Very high. And up next, after this commercial break, we're going to put John on the spot as he talks to us about the worst game show ever created. Save the world. All right, John. Things are going good. Just think of a plan. You shouldn't have too much of a problem. Hopefully. Nice boost of confidence there, Chief. So far, so good. Hey, there's someone coming. Is it a threat? Does it even matter? Guess not. Lot of base. An AISB agent is moving th through to your position. <sighs> ah, shoot. Master Taylor, an AISB agent, has eliminated the Bear Claw team. So, what you mean to tell me is that the men you have trained have failed me? Y yes. Jason, take out this trash and make sure every squad is on its way to Bear Claw Team's position. Nothing will stand in my way this day. You are the move! All units, report to the creek. Dawson, we're taking hostiles closing in on your position. How long do I have? Approximately two minutes. You need to disappear. Make it fast.
Then spread out and find him. He must not make it to the house. You do it a little too far. Stay in your guard. You still don't know when Taylor is going to have Grill come after you. Once again, Chief, your pep talks fill me with more confidence than I can ever imagine. Uh, King, focus. Aye, aye, sir. All patrols have made it to the position, but the enemy has eluded him. Wait at the south entrance. And give him your famous Jason Greel welcome. With pleasure. Huh? That was 100% intentional. Yeah, sure it was. Hold up. You got a unit of three heading towards you. Be quiet and let him pass. I can take him. It's not about being able to take them. It's about maintaining your cover. Fine. Hey. Yeah? Do you ever wonder why we're- <gasps> Whoa! Get down. Remember, this mission relies heavily on spell. Don't worry. I don't think they can see me. They can see me. I swear these buffoons are messing with this thing when I'm not even looking. What's your yapping and mouth? Yes, sir! I said you need to be stealthy. How is this? Stealthy! I'll, uh, get back to you when I have an answer for that. <gasps> what? Well, that's unfortunate. For you! Ah! Well, nothing beats the classics. Ah! Dude, who's doing a one-liner? Come on. It wasn't me. Move! Why, hello, mister. My name isn't mister. Sam. You can say Sam, right? Say Sam, please. Oh, wiser, I see. This should be fun. Yes, it will. <laughs> there, button. Oh, well, you look like Logan, man. Pretty. Don't have a lot of money, right? Shut up, we got no budget in here. Oh, no wonder why you guys are in a suburban home. <laughs> Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Johnson! 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 Sam! What's going on? What do you want from me? Oh, I just want your opinion on a certain subject. Save your breath. Agent Johnson, I didn't ask for facts about your pathetic agency. I asked for your opinion. Oh, my opinion? Well, my opinion is you're an evil jerk that I hate. How do you know my name? Oh, I've known about you for quite some time now, while I've been... Okay, Jason stole your wallet. Hey! I got my money in that. Back to the subject. What do you think of when you hear the phrase, bring balance to the world? Bring balance to the world? Well, that's what the AISB does. They get rid of scum like you. And 
If I were to tell you that one side of the scale had 10,000 pennies and the other side had 18, would you say that is balanced? Well, 10,000 is obviously more than 18. The two sides need to be equal in order for them to be perfectly balanced. Precisely. What do you mean? Balance is when opposite qualities are in equal quantities. Thus, bringing balance to the world does not mean the extermination of evil, but rather equal amounts of good and evil. And while most people in this world would say that there is too much evil in the world, they are merely just complaining about people they personally do not like. This world is riddled with people with a moral compass pointing to the good within them. And thus, the moral scale of this world is unbalanced. And on this day, I will be the one to bring balance to the world. And you think having the nations fire nuclear weapons on their own good people is going to do that? <laughs> so that is what Burns thinks my plan is. Wait, how do you know the director? If one is to defeat their enemy, one must know their enemy. I know all there is to know about your director. Even the things he doesn't want people to know about including his three strikes policy. Oh, I thought you meant his Papa John's login. Ugh. Yeah, everyone knows that policy. You fail three missions, you're fired. You mean three failed missions and you get executed. Tell me, how many of your previous co-workers have you seen since they were fired under the three strikes rule? No, I do not plan to have the nations attack themselves. I plan to have them attack each other. Hatred will sprout suspicion and doubt, and no one will know who to trust. Enough hatred will swell up to turn moral compasses towards the hatred and darkness of evil. You're not gonna get away with this, you know. Oh, I already have. Do not worry, I'm not going to kill you, yet. I'll let you see the failure of your mission till the very end. Goodbye, Agent Johnson. Hey, get back here. Yeah, you better run. Quiet! So, you guys are getting paid for this? Of course. I bet you're getting paid more than this schmuck over here, eh? Well, obviously. Absolutely not. I do more work than you. Yes, because I tell you to do the work because I'm a higher rank. Ergo, I get more. Well, <coughs> 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 Thank you for your hospitality, boys, but I have to go save the world. Excuse me there, sorry about that. Well, Agent Johnson, you certainly are determined but I've come too far to be stopped by you. I could help you, you know. Make it so that you are never again bound by a moral code. And even if you do not decide to serve me, you've already failed this mission, which means it's strike three for you. Yes, that would, wait, I'm supposed to, Ugh. Yes, give in, give in. Give in. Dude, can you stop? That's getting really annoying right now. Stop. Oh, so, sorry. Wait, wait, no, I'm not sorry. I'm, I'm evil. Give in. Give in. Shut up, it's getting annoying. Give in. Ah! Oh, no, you don't. <laughs> Do not let him ruin this. I've come too far. Everything must go as planned. Whoa.
End of the line, Johnson. You've done well today, but I've come too far to be stopped by you. Two can play at that game. Yes, well, two's a couple, three's a crowd. You know, I was going to let Burns give you your last strike farewell, but instead I think I'll just let Jason do it himself and save old Burns the trouble. Ah, oh, fully. Well, I know when I'm beat. I accept my fate. But, before I do, I have something to say. You might want to sit down, because it's quite... shocking. so much cooler if it was like one or two seconds left. Uh, whatever. You! You'll pay for this! Oh shoot. Get him, you fool! Ugh. Want something done? You gotta do it yourself. Not good, not good, not good, not good. Master, I have him in my sight. He's heading towards the elementary school. Good. Drive him to the fields. I'll have a surprise for Mr. Johnson. Where do you think you're going? Um, I'm actually kind of hungry. I'm thinking McDonald's. What do you think? Uh, as fun as that sounds, I'd rather attend your funeral! Uh. <laughs> huh. You really did have my wallet. Hmm. Glad to be done with that. You! All right, this guy. Do you have any idea what you've done here today? Save the world? You ruined everything! As much as I love to hear you whine, I'd rather not. So, goodbye. One bullet, seriously? Hold on, let's see what I got in here. Let's dance. <laughs> Come on, ho hold on a minute. There we go. Let's dance. Ha 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 ha. You are no match for me. Wait, I thought you would have a lightsaber. This is a lightsaber. No, lightsabers are round like this. It is a dark saber. A symbol of power amongst the Mandalorian people, and its unique shape and color comes from its creator, Tar Vissa, the first Mandalorian in... I'm going to enjoy destroying you. Ah! Your co-workers, Ramsey, Dooley, and Jones, I gutted them myself. How does that make you feel, Johnson? Ah! Oh. 
Your rage has unbound you. That is not the way of a hero, is it? Johnson, but it's the end of the line for you, and you have not stopped me here today. You have merely delayed me. But you won't be able to do so again next time, because it's time to say goodbye. Don't need a partner, huh? As you can see, I completed all of the missing objectives, so I did it all by myself. Despite the fact that if I didn't intervene, you'd be a decoration on Taylor's wall, you did save the world, so no strike for you. Oh, you were worried that you didn't get to off me yourself? What are you talking about? Oh, I know all about our, your three-strike policy. You don't just take our jobs, you take our lives. Who'd you hear that from? He did. And you believed him? The way you say that makes me kind of think I believed an obvious lie. That's exactly because you did. Wait. What? Jimmy got fired two years ago because of the three strike policy. He was at the company barbecue last week. Now how was he there if I already killed him? You make a good point. Does it seem physically possible? Exactly. Wanna go get some food? Yes. So, did you ever figure out how to use your hair link as a weapon in combat? No, it's a stupid power. Why do we even have it? You couldn't even use it against that meekness henchman or whatever it is. Who's the maintenance henchman? Oh, it's the guy that like, turns on and off some lights and pranks people and pulls away the dead bodies and stuff. It doesn't matter. 